Are we moving towards a new generation uh, of, of an England squad? And how do you feel that the current squad compares to the one that you inherited nearly four years ago? Are we better now? A lot of younger players are improving and uh, you need uh, to wait at the end of the season to understand if the value of these young players will be at the top to, to play with the senior. But I think the quality of this player is really, really good. We, we had a, a, a gap between the oldest and the young. It's in the players that 25, 26 years miss, miss it in this period. And now the younger, 21, 19, like Wisher, Jones, Welbeck, Sturridge, it's really interesting. And I think it will be a really good thing for the next year. We can move this team on with the next question in actual fact. With some excellent new young talent coming through, do you believe that you have a better balance of youth and experience now available than when you, you first took the job? Have you got a better yes. balance now, yeah? I think so. I think so, because the young is really good, is ready to play with the senior, and the, the experience of the, the seniors is really important because during uh, the games uh, they need some leaders, people they know something. It's uh, only one player, young, is a leader on the pitch, which is incredible. So young is only young. But you need that experience uh, like John Terry or uh, Rio, if he will be fit, or some, uh, uh, Scott Parker is a leader on the pitch. You need uh, this kind of players. And also Rooney, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's a really good mix between the youth and the experience. What lessons, Fabio, have you learned from the last World Cup that will enable us to win the European Championships? What are the best lessons that you've learned from your experience? Yes, uh, I learned that uh, the players arrived at the World Cup really tired. And uh, I understood that this uh, during the friendly game that we played before to go to South Africa. We won uh, the games, but we didn't play well and uh, the player was uh, not so fast, not so good like the game that we played for the qualifications. And uh, I, I think you need to change something at the end of the, this season. I think uh, if we will arrive fresh, if we arrive uh, fit, we will be com competitive. This is a really good one for you, Fabio. You will enjoy this one. If you could pick one non-English player to play in your England team, who would it be and why? No, I'm happy with my players. <laughs> Very good answer. I think uh, we got really good players and uh, I'm big confidence in my players. I got big confidence and uh, it's a good moment. We spoke about the uh, young, young players and players and uh, they are really, really good. I think uh, not a lot of uh, young players uh, is so good in the world. And not so many players are better than the, the English player. I think you need to build the, the winner mentality in this period. And uh, also these uh, young players you need uh, to improve. I'm really happy with my players. For the England manager at the European Championship Finals next summer, Fabio Capello. <laughs>